Today we transform a leather top table with joint compound. So here you can see I've already smeared joint compound across the entire table really smoothly. Move Dave. Anyways, um, and now I'm taking a wood grain tool and I'm just dragging it across the table really roughly. Here it comes again, really roughly. The rougher the better for that reclaimed wood finish. And next we paint. Here we are color blocking with a color called Polished Pearl by Bear and the Millery. One's more like a, you know, a white, the other's like a tan, and then we're just going to feather them into each other for a nice faux wood grain look. If you make a mistake, that's fine. You can erase it and keep it moving. As you can see, that's what I did. Okay, so just keep color blocking and then we're going to keep feathering them into each other. It's so easy, guys. I mean, you could definitely do this. This is not... This is not rocket science. It really isn't. Um, so you're going to do the entire table. Keep color blocking. If one of the colors gets too, you know, muddy because they're being blended, just true it up a little bit with the base color and keep it moving. If not, do it on the next coat. Um, and then next, we're going to use some water-based stains to really accent that wood grain. So let's go. Anytime. Okay, here it is. Um, Graystone. So we're just going to take some. I just put my little fingers in it and drop it on top of it. Smear it in just so it settles into some of the crevices. You can see it right here settling in. Graystone's like a pink, gray, brown, very barn wood, reclaimed wood finish. It is definitely the base of this table. You need it if you're going to do this look. So get it. And it's awesome. Zero Vogue. Love it. Next, I'm using Unicorn Spit. It's a gel stain. It's awesome too. You're going to love it. $9.99, really cheap. You can find it on Amazon. I love it. I use it a little bit more sparingly on this one simply because it can get really dark. So a little bit at a time so I can control it. Next, DB Voodoo, Black Voodoo Gel Stain. Same, same idea, small amounts. We're building it. So we, we don't want to add everything at the same time. Just a little bit here, just a little bit there. Seal in between coats. And here I just showed you antique oak. I did it really, really fast. And now I'm going to show it to you faster. Boom, antique oak. So same idea. Also love this one. These are my go-tos. That's why I still have them years later after I stopped buying them. I love these ones. Same idea, smear it across. Make sure you get in all the crevices so there's no white showing through because that takes away from it looking realistic. Alrighty. Now that that part's almost done, let's move on to smearing the entire surface with that gel stain, the DB Black Voodoo gel stain. It's everywhere. I'm going across this time so it really catches inside those crevices. This is my favorite thing to do, guys. You're going to love this. It's so easy. It looks so complex and it's just really, really easy. All right, now that that's done, and it's early, so you guys have to forgive me. My voice is just not awake. Anyhow, so now we're going to use the same color that was in the base. We're going to take some on a paper towel that has been moistened with some water, and we're going to make a little whitewash. We're going to smear it across. Purpose of this is that all those colors underneath it, it like lays under a sheet of white. It kind of just gets everything to blend together, and it gives it that weathered look. I love it. Everyone loves a good whitewash. It's easy. It makes you look like you know what you're doing. You should do it if you don't do it. All right, and so now I'm gonna take a little black wax. I'm using DB's um, Best Dang Wax in Black, I believe. Um, it's water-based too, love water-based. Makes it so much easier to clean up. Just going right across the crevices where it's darker. And then using the back of my sponge to kind of just make sure it's not sitting on the top. Look at that. Y'all see that? Come on now. Look at that. What? Okay, I know I did it, but I am just impressed. Um, I just love it. I hope you guys tried it. It's so easy to get this look. It's so, I mean, you can do it on everything. And this was a leather top table. So definitely follow along. Uh, show me if you do it. I want to see it. And stay tuned. Come back, guys. I hope you like it. Bye.